gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel that is Deb Chanel's 40s World Thank you for all your continued support Thank you for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribers I've gotten in the past and presently Thank you, thank you, thank you Don't forget to hit that notification bell So you'll know when I upload uh, new videos you'll be the first to know about them and you can come on over and check me out and see what i'm talking about okay wonderful 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 now let's get on into this video we're gonna try to make it short because <coughs> it seems like i'm catching a cold but anyway i said that to say this let's get on into the video we're gonna be covering and talking about uh buffy purcell as well as jackie uh walters on merit to medicine yes Miss Buffy is so upset with Jackie because Jackie called her infertile at one of her parties she was having for her book unveiling. All right. I don't know why Jackie went up there and said what she said, but from what the clip is showing us, and I, yes, I saw it. She went on and called Buffy infertile that she could relate to her not being able to, uh, well, have babies, I guess, because of her mastectomy and all the radiation and all the chemo she went through. So she was trying to find some similarity between her and Buffy. <laughs> and that was a hot mess. The way Jackie did that darn thing. That was piss poor, piss, pissy poor, uh, sad way of doing things and calling people out. Then you had Dr. Heavenly going over there talking about, Oh, uh, yeah, Buffy, yeah, she pretty much did that and said that, but I don't think Jackie meant anything by it, just that and the third going on and on and on, and we were like, really, is that what you're going to say? You ain't going to say nothing else, you ain't going to call Jackie out, you know Jackie said what she said here, you were there, but, you know, Dr. Helen, she um was saying, no, nah, I don't think Jackie meant it that way. She she didn't mean it that way. Then, you know, um, Dr. Helen has her own YouTube channel where she was over there talking about the situation as well. And the previous episode that aired on last Sunday, giving her spin on it and how she felt. Because she read a lot of people's posts as well as probably um, she was on some people uh, YouTube creators accounts. Uh, channels and seeing what they were saying about her and she felt some indifferent way about it <laughs> I was like just like you giving your opinion we giving our opinion too but we giving it unraw and uncut you try to make up uh stories of why you did what you did and then you try to figure out if you said what you said just like you're trying to um take up for miss jacket when jacket said what she said it may have been in the wrong context but she was trying to make a point. She's trying to compare and find similarity in the subject that she couldn't have kids. So, therefore, her co-worker on the show can't have kids either. But, no, you both of y'all can have kids. Y'all have the same opportunities. You can adopt. You can uh, have someone else carry a baby for you. Yes, you could do a few other things, too, Jackie. But you're trying to make both of y'all seem barren when that's just not the case. And... Uh, Buffy Parcell is calling you out on what you did and shared at your book uncovering party, making her look like a pitiful sight out there. Okay, but we got our girl Kirsten uh, Willis that's over there as a journalist or a common, uh, we call a correspondent over there writing out stories for them. And uh, she gave us a nice story to ponder on and uh, see what we feel and see if it's something we can digest to uh, put, her in a, put us in the frame of mind of why Jackie did what she did. Okay, but we go on into the title of the article. It said, that was a dirty move. Merit to Medicine's newbie shares lengthy response to Dr. Jackie's humiliating her after outing her as infertile. Now, if anybody knows, infertile means you can't carry, you, you're pretty much barren, you can't carry a child through uh, the said term months you need to, you know, uh, carry a child in your womb, uh, you may get pregnant, but then you may shortly lose the baby after being uh, holding the baby in your womb for several months, but then it just may come out apart, you know. So, yeah, that's what pretty much infertile is. Uh, but we're going into the article. It says a preview 
Uh, the next uh, episode of Marriage and Medicine saw Jackie Waters reveal some deeply personal information about Buffy Purcell. And the newbie is now speaking out. Okay. On Bravo Sunday, Water is seen giving a speech at her the Queen V book cover reveal party. There, the OBGYN shares her experience going through chemotherapy and radiation after getting diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004. Okay, we know she had a double mastectomy. She's talked about that. She's been very emotional about that. And to the fact she wanted to have kids, she sought out other ways to have kids. But Curtis, that big ass man of hers, Sorry, as man of hers said no. She downright flat no, 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 no. I don't had my children. I don't want them on children. And this is where it is. And I'm like, okay, Jackie, did you know this man was like that prior to marrying him? Because then I don't feel sorry for you. Because if he told you up front before he proposed to you, before y'all actually got married, if he told you he didn't want to have no kids, then that's on you. We don't really want to hear your woe, woe me, woe this, because you couldn't, you didn't have to marry him, okay? You, because you at least would have had some sense of another man being with you, saying, okay, well, baby, we can adopt, we can um have somebody carry a baby for us. You know, it could have could have been some sought out ways to appease you, so you can have your child. But not the one you with now saying, no, we ain't adopting, we ain't doing none of that. Uh, okay, you're going to share my daughter that I had with somebody else, but no, we're not having children. So, anyway, moving on from that situation, but with Buffy's uh, situation, I'm pretty sure her husband is putting it up for something to be thought about on the table. We may, can uh, adopt, or we could try other avenues, you know, so we can get pregnant. If not, again, we can adopt. Uh, we can have someone carry the baby for us, you know, just, you know, we have what he, he's willing to, he's willing and wanting to, meaning David, uh, Buffy's husband, he wants a child, okay, versus what Curtis wants, he don't want any more children, so you can't compare or find y'all have similar, uh, ties to becoming parents, because, no, Buffy doesn't share that same idea or theory that you're going through two different situations okay her husband wants kids your husband don't want kids by any means necessary okay but moving back to the article it goes on to say to find out the most thing you want growing up and wanting to do you can't do Walter shares of having a family. And Buffy, you can relate. You're infertile. See how insensitive that was? She talking about herself, and then she going to throw you up in the mix or anybody up in the mix. No, Jackie, you could have kept that to yourself. Have you heard of patient confidentiality clauses, uh, spilling the beans on somebody else's business, how you're not supposed to do that, in theory, uh, causing no harm? It's a Hippocratic oath that you took uh, to the public. And whatever she, meaning Buffy, shared with you behind closed doors should have stayed behind closed doors. But technically, I have to bring Buffy as well because if you don't want anything told, don't tell it. I mean, don't tell a soul. Tell the Lord if you got to tell somebody. You got to just get it off your chest. Tell yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself. But don't tell another innocent bystander because your secret is not safe then, Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says um, she tried to make uh, Buffy slim, similar to hers by calling Buffy infertile. So I encourage every woman in here to take your pain. You know it, ladies, and make it your purpose. I'm like, okay, Jack, it may work for you, but it may not work for everybody else that's listening to you. They don't want to throw their business out there in the street. They don't want to tell everybody their business, what they're going through, how they're feeling about the situation, what they're going to do or not do about the situation. People are not like you, Jackie. So to just arbitrarily throw somebody else's business out there, that's pretty piss poor. Piss poor judgment. On all fronts, okay? But going back to the article, it says Buffy explained in a confessional that she had really surface-level discussions with her castmate about her challenges with infertility, adding that it was nothing real deep, okay? So really, they were just like talking like, okay, what we going to eat tonight? You know, no, nah, I don't want that. Well, yeah, that could be something fulfilling, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So it wasn't like she was really getting in detail and really telling uh, what she really felt deep down inside. You know, it wasn't like a real connection. It was just like small banter 
about, you know, not being able to hold a baby. You know, pretty much like that low selfish energy she was giving towards Jack. But Jack still shouldn't have took that low uh, surface energy and put it out there for everybody to partake of and put her on front street so they can examine her and say, well, why she, what's wrong with her? What she did in her early years that pre is that's preventing her from having, you know how people get, they get mean, nasty, and ugly, trying to size you up and they don't even know what flavor you're drinking. Okay. But anyway, moving back to the article, it says the revelation stunned the American Medicine cast. And by Tuesday, uh, Buffy Purcell took to Instagram to explain do uh, Dr. Jackie seemingly casually mentioned of her struggling to conceive was so hurtful. This was one of the most humiliating and painful moments in my life. I am proud that I am I was able to rise above my pain and embarrassment and conduct myself as a lady that my mother and grandmother raised me to be, she began. Um, I was explaining that she and Dr. Jackie only uh, discussed the idea that is forced to explain my many, many failed attempts at motherhood. Purcell bashed the idea that she is infertile, emphasizing she's had challenges with uh, fertility, is what she's saying. To call another woman fertile, uh, infertile, I meant to say, is cruel. That word doesn't begin to describe the type of person that I am. I'm a taxpayer and personal financial professional, she went on to say. The clinical definition is that you are unable to get pregnant. Well, I can and have gotten pregnant many times. I was just unable to carry my babies to full term. And I, I just a sidebar, she must be a high, high, high risk pregnancy person uh, to be able not to really be able to secure the womb for the whole nine months. Uh, so, yeah, so that's not really infertile because infertile you can't you bear and you can't do anything ain't nothing working now now to produce no baby and keep no baby okay so thank you buffy for uh sharing that insight with us but going back to the article it said i was just unable to carry my babies to full term additionally it means that you bear no fruit well i like to think that i have been productive member of society and that my mark will be left through philanthropy okay for sale Further said, Dr. Jackie made the remark with malicious intent. Okay, malicious intent is kind of like a lawyer type court situation. Are y'all trying to go into court uh, with defamation of character or, or something? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to use all these lawyer type words? These are attorney type usages of words when they're in the court of law fighting against people malicious intent. Okay, that means you saying she purposely did this to hurt you to make you feel pitiful, sad, and she did it with forethought, okay? That's what you're trying to tell us, but is that what you're trying to tell us, okay? Moving on, she said, and the doctor had never offered me a sincere apology, but the new reality star said she doesn't want an apology from Dr. Jackie and noted the remark was not an editing trip like some have speculated. Okay, and I think she's talking about uh, Dr. Helen, because Dr. Helen was in her corner, meaning uh, Dr. Waters, Jackie Waters, kind of saying, oh, you know how uh, the film crew do. They take things out. They put things in. You just never know what you're going to get when they finish the product. Uh, of that particular episode. I'm like, have to sit yourself down because they don't show you in no good light at no time. You need to be fussing at them, okay? To catch you in a better light than what you give us because right now you look uh, like a little sour puss over there all the time. Deb it down, deb it down. But then moving on uh, back to the article, it said being forced to relive it on television and through social media hasn't been fun. She added before, make, before thanking people for offering a positive words of encouragement the kindness of strangers would never cease to amaze me she said in conclusion i'm fine i'm tougher than i seem and this too shall pass all right then preacher honey i am thankful to know who my real friends are and on the cast she goes in to say dr simone whitmore she says the lovely mariah and she talks about toya bush okay i don't know about that toya bush thing going on because y'all were just fussing before she threw you out her uh, birthday party so Okay, we're going to think that one through. But going back to the article, it said um, they had some commenters uh, down in her comment section. And they were just 
hurling out insults for Dr. Jackie. Uh, one of the commenters said, Jackie was wrong as fuck for that. Another one said, yeah, that's so wrong. That There is literally no excuse. That's something you don't even repeat, let alone tell a whole damn room of people, okay? Vicious was another one. Another one said, that was a dirty move. Walters has not responded to the backlash or Purcell's Instagram post. And she not. She not going to come down off her pedestal and throw tomatoes in the street if I must quote Mariah <laughs> on that. No, Jackie said what she said. And most of the time when people are up there telling people business, when they know, they have good common sense to know that they shouldn't be doing it, but they do it anyway. Jackie's unhappy. That's the whole formula with Jackie and how she's rolling out here. She up there buying a brand new house that really didn't need any uh, fixing up. She's tanning it apart, trying to bring it up uh, from the ground up like she's building her own mansion, okay? I'm like, why you just didn't buy no land and then orchestrate a plan on how you want it? Get somebody to get an architect, get a blueprint going, and construct your own house. But you don't spend, I don't know, probably half a million on the house that you already got. Now you've been spent 300000 to renovate it to house certain rooms you want to be in your style. I don't understand it. Make it make sense, okay? But then you're, you're, you're starting, you continually overwork yourself with your practice. And then you're writing a book on top of that. Then you're trying to open up a new practice because you feel you don't outgrown the practice office that you're uh in right now oh jackie's just trying to fulfill something that's not going to uh, be fulfilled unless you with another man because your husband already said he ain't have no kids he don't want no kids he done he don't did that done that with somebody else and he don't want to do it with you now hey if you knew this man felt this way prior to you saying i do then it's all on you jackie now if he said this stuff after the fact that y'all were married and, and this that, and third then it's something you must think about because you, I know you make more money than him. Honey, I know you make more money than him. But the man is making you seriously unhappy, causing some mental issues, it seems like. Because if you sat up there and said that about Buffy Purcell and her infertility, that was, that was downright spiteful, hurtful, and downright wrong. Okay, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all felt about uh, the video itself or the, the issue at hand. Which, you know, did was Jackie wrong for doing what she did? Or was she right on point? I don't know. Because telling somebody else's business always seemed wrong in my eyes. But then again, that's just how I think. But I want to continue to thank you all for supporting my channel, uh, sharing my videos, liking my videos. Please continue to do the same. Let more people think about me coming over here. It's a family affair. And, you know, dropping down and looking at my videos and then uh, putting their spin on it. Okay? Let them speak their truth about the subject matter. Okay, but y'all, peace and blessings, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.